for the peroneal nerve test, and remember the peroneal nerve is serving these peroneal muscles and it's coming down the lateral aspect, the, what we have is we have the same position as for the straight leg test, so i.e. the patient no pillow, straight on the couch, slightly nearer your side than central, and what we're going to be doing to stretch that nerve is we're going to be flexing the hip, because that will put more stretch into it, and then what we're wanting with the foot this time is plantar flexion and inversion. So it's plantar flexion, inversion that way. So we can do that either by, pull, by putting our hands under like this, or we could just take it like this. But somehow we need to get that plantar flexion and inversion. So we do that, there's our position, and we bring that leg up until she says she can, she can feel the stretch. We then ask her to bring her head up, and that's increasing the stretch further. Now, to see whether or not that's just a tight muscle, or whether it's a tight nerve, we ask her to take her head back down again. She says that takes the pressure off, so it must be nerve. So we then want to slide that nerve to release it. So we, if you come up, there's the maximum stretch. We then want to shorten that nerve a little bit, take the head back down. Now, as Maggie brings her head up, I'm going to take the pressure off the foot. So she brings her head up, and I'm going to let that, some of that plantar flexion go and some of that inversion go. And then as she brings her head down, I take that plantar flexion and inversion back on. Head up, let it go, head down, bring it on. Or, the other thing is, as she brings her head up, I just let that hip flexion go a little bit and down, and the hip flexion down, and that's sliding the nerve. That's the peroneal nerve test.